Hello, successful Sami here, and I want to talk about how to make money from POS business. Um, quite a number of people know about um, uh, they know about POS business. You might have been seeing it, but uh, the number of ways to go about it now, and that business has the capacity of generating you as much as 100,000 naira every single month. Every single month you can make as much as 100,000 naira and you can have um, different points, okay? So you can have a place where um, you will have a stand here, another stand somewhere else, another stand somewhere else. You don't necessarily need to have a shop but if you have a shop it's a plus okay so the pos business is a fantastic business but what are the things you need to be able to uh, really succeed in pos business making money from pos business okay so the first thing you want to look at if you really want to make a lot of money is look at a rural area a rural area as your starting point now um, if you don't have a rural area there's no problem but in a rural area banks are not very common and because banks are not very common you stand the opportunity of being the bank in that area number two uh, which is also equally important is that get to partner get to partner with a bank so you partner with a bank um all you just need to do is walk into any bank what which bank do i recommend first bank i recommend first bank i recommend union bank i recommend wema bank i recommend uh, sterling bank um i recommend all the other banks though but those are the ones i have seen that are doing the stuff i've been to first bank myself and uh, they gave me the form so they will give you a form you can sign up as a partner with the bank apart from that you can also try some of these other ones there's paga um, you can also sign up with paga paga also do the same thing uh, momo momo is um i think is from ntn momo um that's um the people that are momo agents okay uh so you can become a momo agent they you help people to transfer money collect money and that's by mtn and then op also does that too op you can become an op agent too and see all of them have different commissions okay um all of them have different commissions and i need you to understand that um, all you just need to do is to go to their offices okay op let me do op office so um, you can go to op and op will be able to put you through on the things you need to do uh, the momo agent you can go to mtn they can put you through the same thing with paga you can try to look for their office uh, try to look for their office and then you'll be good to go. Let me let me get that. Uh, Paga, that Yaba, Yaba. Okay, so you too can go and become one of their agents. You'll be able to pay bills for people, DSTV, TV, electricity, and a lot more. You'll be able to send money, receive money, get remittance. You'll just be a small bank in the area that a lot of people that don't have access to go to the normal bank they can reach out to you and then you do all that you need to do for them and then you make some commission 
but this particular business can make you 100,000 naira every month. If you are watching me from China, from India, from Dubai, from US, from UK, from Europe, any part of the world, and you feel that you want to start this business in Nigeria, you can start this business with a small amount of money. Um, you can start this business with as low as um, 100k, but I will suggest uh, maybe you boost that up to 350k. Okay, so you can start with a very even 50,000, but I will suggest you start with 50k. So you need to get a location that you are going to stay, you need to partner. And then you need to get your capital to start and then every day after the transaction you must be able to balance your account that's very important now let me say this to you what is the main thing that will give you money let's say you want to send money to a customer come he wants to send money to people and when they want to send money to those people what did what happened is that uh, let's say they want to send 20,000 and then you charge them 200 naira on the 20,000 and the bank will still pay you commission for sending that and then you are able to have a transaction worth of about uh, 200,000 in a day. Okay, so that's 200,000 times um, um, divided by 20. That's going to give us like 10. Okay, that's 2,000 in a day. At the end of the month, you are making like 300,000. So it makes a whole lot of sense when you go into this business. There's a lot, lot, loads of profit in this business. And those are some of the stuff that you get. The same thing happens when you're sending money. In fact, some of the banks will give you the privilege of opening an account for people. Access Bank does that. Wema Bank does that. And you can actually make money from this. So if you don't have any job you are doing, um, you are abroad and you are looking at what your brother can do in Nigeria, they can become a POS agent. They can become a POS agent. And then they should stop troubling you. Uncle send money. Auntie send money. This is what I'm saying. The bank will give them this kind of machine and they can have a center like this that you are seeing here. That is how it works, okay? And then you see, look at this other one too. Um, so they can become a pay center agent POS and, you know, you will have relief because look at FCMB2 can become their agent. Um, look at, um, so most of the banks are doing it. Look at this. The first bank owned here. In fact, this person's own is even mobile. Okay, so uh, there's a lot that um, one can do with his life if he really wants to make money in Nigeria. This is an opportunity in Nigeria that is fresh and is big and something that can change anybody's life that do not have a job. What of if somebody is making you can make 100,000 in a center. But what of if somebody now has five different centers? That means you can make 500,000 in a month because you are a mobile banker. You are a mobile bank and you are helping people. So if, if you feel that you want to get involved in this business, all you need to do is get a location. In your location, you can get a cubicle like this. Okay, if you don't have access to a cubicle, you can just get a place with umbrella and then that umbrella thing will just cover you and cover um, your activity so that the sun will not be scourging you. And um, if you have a shop, it's an added advantage, but they will give you a POS machine that you'll be able to use for all of those services. So um, this is a fantastic opportunity. I want to encourage you to look at how you can get involved in this opportunity. On that note, I'm going to close. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit on the subscribe button below. I would greatly appreciate that. Give me some thumbs up, share this video with your friend. If you subscribe, drop a comment for me. I just subscribed. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. Please do this for me and I'll be happy 
that you did so okay on that note i'm going to close till i come your way next time uh my name is successful sami and i'm saying till that time you should remain financially intelligent bye for now <laughs>